Okay, everybody. Here we grow again. I'm going to start the show off with a clearing, and it's my favoriteest clearing ever. I do it all the time, and it's for self-love. We have unconditional love for ourselves. I get a no. We're going to start clearing that. We like ourselves. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Okay, that's where we're starting today in a minute. In a minute. I don't know where I'm going with that. I just feel like singing today. Um, I'm going to start taking callers. Before I take callers, I want to let everybody know I am available for private sessions, but I will never, ever reach out to you. I say this during every single show because on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and other social media outlets, I think the TikTok, um, there are scammers that will reach out to you looking like me, using my pictures, using my name, right? Using my pictures, using my name, telling you they're going to do something for you. And the only thing they're going to do is bring your dollar down. So um, I will never, ever reach out to anybody for a, um, for a reading, a healing, for anything. Uh, if, if you want a session with me, you have to go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, and then call my business number, 414-897-2869. That is the only way to get a session with me. Um, I will not email you. I will not uh, put it in my uh, comments. None of that is happening. Believe me, not, none of it. And if you knew the level of, um, I don't know what I would call it, the level of like faith I have and people are coming to me, I don't chase people, I don't chase money, you would know I am not chasing you for readings. And that's not a bad thing. That's just a thing. Like, I don't ever um, think anybody should be texting somebody, you need a reading, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I just don't, I don't believe in that. If somebody needs something, they will find the right person. Okay. Um, the next thing is, hey, Stevie, Stevie's my little brother. For those of you who are new, love him to pieces. He is hilarious. Um, so Stephen is on TikTok. And he does these dances. There's a video of him and it looks really bad. He's trying to cushion surf. He's on a cushion and he's trying to go down a flight of steps on this cushion. The first time I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, did he break his neck? But he didn't. And when you realize he's okay, the video is really funny. Um, but Stevie loves to dance and rap and he has some TikToks on that. Now I... I don't know what his TikTok thing is, but if you go to my TikTok, you'll find his TikTok. Anyway, I'm going to be answering questions online on the YouTube chat and via phone calls. It's always best to call in because I can tap into your energy individually when I'm on the phone with you. On, on, on the YouTube chat, I don't always get to tap so so uh, I'll get your energy, but it might not be as strong as on the phone. If you want to join the show live, if you're watching on one of the television stations or podcasts or radio stations that I air on and you want to join us live, if you have questions, if you want to connect with loved ones on the other side, you can do that. I'm here every Monday and Wednesday from at noon central. And you can join us on YouTube. If you do join us on YouTube and you like what you see, please hit that like and uh, maybe follow. So if I do a pop-up show or when, whenever I come on, you'll know. Um, and you can post questions in the YouTube live chat. If you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Let me say that a little slower. I, I don't, I, yeah, see right there, 845-277-9131. I want to say hi to everybody who's joining us, joining us in the chat, Patrick. Thank you so much for your kind word, and I cannot wait to eat your pie. The pie you baked. Thank you. 
Um, Amy, hey, what's going on? Heather, um, Fawn, thank you all for joining me. And then we have some new people. Mears, Mars, Mari, Maris, Maris. I'm so, I, you know, it's M A R E S double oh five. Um, I'm so sorry I massacred your name just now. Lolly, hey, Lolly. Um, so that is who is checked in so far. I know, um, there are some people who watch every single week and they don't always check in. And, uh, Mimi, Scott, um, Jess, Cindy, hey guys, love you all so very, very much. I'm going to start taking callers and then I, hey Frankie, what's up? And then I'm going to go back and forth between callers and, um, and YouTube questions. And again, if you want to call in and ask your question, it's 845-277-9131. I'm going to be on for an hour today. Um, I'm going to try to get every single caller today, okay? Um, here we go. The first caller is 703. 703, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Andrea. I'm calling from Virginia. Hey there. How can I help you today? I, I recently had a couple of job interviews. Do you see that maybe one of them will come through or, or a different one? Yes. Okay. One of the ones that you've already done is coming through. And, um, but there are two, two more that you're going to do. And the next, you're going to get a total. I know you're going to get an at least one offer, but you might get more than one offer. I feel like you might get two or three offers. Um, and, and here's the thing. Sometimes once we get one offer and we accept that offer, we don't even entertain the other offers. While we're in the uh, dating process, the dating stage of a job, meaning we're just getting to know the job, we haven't really settled in, um, it's okay to look at other offers you may get. And if something better comes along, it's Absolutely. okay. To, yes. So please, even energy, we work, at, we we fly on energy. So here's what happens. When we don't have a, a job, when we, when we get laid off or whatever, we go into this um, like panic or fear mode. And then as soon as we have a job, even if it's a whatever job, we're, we feel somewhat safe. And then we we pull that energy in. If we have money coming in, we keep money coming in. I oh, want you to, right. Yeah, I want you to consider yes, a couple I'm, of that's things. What, that's, that's what a lot of people do, but not I. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and here's a couple of things for you to consider. The first thing to consider is I'm hearing there might be a banking position for you, even if it's not in the, I feel like it might be on the business end of banking maybe not the mortgage end of banking, but business end of banking and not like running the business window at the bank that there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like that's, excuse me, I feel like that might be coming in for you. And a number of other things, just keep going until you find what you're looking for. And I do feel like with, well, in a month, you will have a position that's so much better than the last position that you had. Okay. Um, and don't, even if you get another position or when you get this other position, find a company that allows you to freelance mortgages. Okay. This is really important for you. Find a company that allows you to be kind of an mm -hmm. independent mortgage person. So those people that you worked with before, or, you know, you already know this, do it independently. Even if you work for a company that maybe isn't doing mortgages or whatever you're doing, find a company that allows you to freelance in your free time. You're going to be so happy you did that. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Yeah. I feel like one of these interview i have three interviews with one and a phone interview on uh, monday so i really feel like one of these two would be really great but i'm still applying but yep you can't stop applying absolutely please keep going keep looking um even after you get this because i do feel like that's going to be good and please don't forget um to keep 
to find some place that will let you independently do mortgages. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so very okay, much. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Okay. My pleasure. And thank okay. you so much for calling in. Please keep us posted and let us know what happens. I'll we'll let you know how it goes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to tell everybody on Monday, I had a caller that um, she she had talked to me about a month ago and she asked about a job. And I told her by the end of the month, by the end of October, she'd have, she'd be employed. And then um, she called in on Monday and said that she was one of the two final for this position and she got it. And I'm so grateful for her. And I know that like we have such awesome people on this show. I know you guys were rooting for her. So thank you for sending that energy to her. I, wa I just want everybody to know she did get the position. She is gainfully employed and good for her. I'm going to go. Um, so I, Mears, I'm just going to call you Mears, Mary's Mears. I'm just going to call you Mears. I'm sorry that I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Marina, <laughs> Marina, thank you. I'm, if I would have read three lines down, I would have had it. I'm going to answer Marina's question first. Do you see me in my current job for a long time or will there be changing jobs? Will they be changing jobs? I get paid good, but I want to become financially independent. Okay, first of all, Marina, most people don't become financially independent working for somebody else. If you want to be financially independent, most of the time, unless you're in your high level job, you also have to do something on the side for yourself where you are not capped in your pay. Okay, first, and I always, if you, if this is your first time here, I tell everybody have something on the side that you're in control of how much money you can bring in and it is limitless. Okay. That I say to everybody all the time. And, and I know people are tired when they get done with their job because it's a drain because you go and give and give and give when you're working on an independent project, your own business that brings energy to you and it wakes your soul up. It wakes up your creativity. It is amazing. Okay. Now that I've said that, uh, yeah, I do think you will be at this job for a bit of time. I do think you should keep your eyes open. And um, it, again, I, I do say also, if something comes along that can give you more of what you're looking for, don't hesitate to do it. I do feel like... Um, I do feel like November, some things are going to come in for people. Um, there might be um, some shutdowns. I Now, I've, I've been saying for a while to people privately because I know how people get collectively. Um, they've already started. The governor of Illinois signed the mask mandate <laughs> until November 14th. I am calling this round electionitis. <laughs> Because November, I believe it's November 8th or 9th are the elections. And amazingly, all of a sudden, guess what's back? Um, yep, it's back. It's like a bad boyfriend. It won't go away. It just keeps coming back. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm totally kind of joking. And in order to get certain things, the agenda, whatever we want to call it, we might have, I know what's going to happen. I've been talking about it to people privately. You guys know on, on platforms, we're not allowed to say what's actually going on, even if they are saying what's actually going on. So what I'm going to say is um, anything that goes down, it will be back up, you know, by February, hopefully sooner. Okay, here we go. So, um, Fawn, I need to know when you say east or west, give me specific areas east and west. I can tell you which one's best for you. I'm going to go to the next caller, 904. 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Wendy from Florida. Hey, Wendy, how can I help you today? Hi. I, can I get a general, please? Nope, you cannot. Generals are um, a little okay. too long. So on oh, the okay. show, I, okay. I work on specific questions and or specific connections to loved ones okay. on the other side. I'm sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. okay. I didn't announce um, that. 
Okay, I started a job and then I was like put on the back burner, but I've since put out some applications. Do you see me gaining anything in my area of expertise or like you said, if is anything else coming along in the meantime, please? Yes. Okay, so Wendy, <laughs> I, I swear to goodness, I don't want to be my own sound effects person anymore. I need to get some sound effects because I'm hearing ding, 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 ding. Um, what I'm going to say for you, something is coming in and it's coming in hot and fast. So be ready. It is in the area that you want it to be in. Um, I am going to say, I, I don't, I don't know for sure. I I feel like in a week you're going to hear something. And I see you like at, at a com at a computer. So for whatever that means, love, I hear I hear in a week. Give it a week, give it a week. But keep looking, keep keep it. Somebody up here is saying, keep it pushing, keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Now I'm also gonna tell you when you started, when when I said no, nope, um, somebody on the other side for you right away stepped up and said she needs to talk about her relationship. <laughs> no. Oh Jesus. No. <laughs> Now here's what I'm gonna say. Well, yeah, that too. But here's what I I'm gonna. Say. <laughs> was it a woman? It is. It's a woman, and she was at one point in her life. She was a little bit full figured of a woman, not a big, big woman, but you know, she was a healthy woman, mm -hmm. and she no fuss, no muss. I know who she, she is. She had her finger flying all the time. I'm just saying, oh my goodness, wow. when she is strong. She's, a, yeah. I'm hearing large and in charge, but she is str a strong woman. And she is saying, yes, she is. You, okay, so I'm just going to give you her message because I don't want her jumping in me talking. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, don't want mm -hmm. that. So I'm going right. to tell you what she's saying and you just do whatever you want with this. Okay, sweetie? Mm hmm. Okay, folks, <laughs> if you've not been here before, I do channel loved ones on the other side, which means they pretty much say what they want. And, and it's always with love. Um, you need to talk about your relationship. You need to um, be eyes wide open. Um, I, I, Wendy, I'm just going to ask you. <clears throat> I know people think that I'm a psychic. I should just have all the answers. Um, that, that's not always the way it works, especially during. Uh, 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 this where I'm just doing trying to do one question. Are you already in a relationship with someone? Uh, someone from the past came back and he's been buzzing around, but yeah. he has not yeah. been straightforward. No, okay. And thank then you. I said to him, that, you know, I don't think we're on the same page. But it's like, do you know when you think about someone or somebody has you on their mind constantly and yes. then the phone rings, but it, yes. it, it's never a straight answer. So I don't know. I care okay, for so, him. This is like 30 years going back. Okay. I'm going to tell you this right now. And I feel you like you cannot even imagine. I'm just going to tell you this right now. It, 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 there's so much I could say, but I'm going to try to compact this into a, a quickie for you, mm -hmm. um, which is exactly the same thing he wants to do. By the way, <laughs> that just in from, from your loved one. He wants to compact oh, this Lord. into a quickie for you. <laughs> what I'm hearing is somebody, and, 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 and this is coming from your loved one, but I also have figured this out recently. If somebody is 100% wanting something serious with you, there is no ambigu ambiguity in it. They will be straightforward. They will let you know. They will be honest and upfront and tell you the things that you are... Um, you are uh, 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 needing to hear to know that you're going to be safe and secure in this situation. Somebody who's coming into play, not so much. They're going to kind of do the work around statements. Oh, can't we just see where this goes? No, 
Now, let me tell you it this way. When a guy or a woman wants a vehicle, they know exactly what they want and they go in and they get it. Are we not more valuable than any vehicle that they might want? Yeah. Uh Yeah, we are. So they know what they want. They just can't tell us what they want because what they want is to play. They are just in their let's play mode. Hmm. There are girls that work by the hour for that stuff. That's all I'm saying on that. If all you want is to hit it, go find somebody. And I have nothing against girls that work by the hour just for that purpose so that those of us who are looking for something serious don't have to put up with this okay i'm just yeah, gonna say true. i'm just gonna say to you keep it pushing keep it pushing keep it pushing do not entertain this person from the past because it will not last he's coming in uh, as a lot of people say for a good time not a long time i'm here on saturday night i'm gone on sunday morning i don't know when you're gonna see me again because uh, I, and then I hear that song, Papa was a Rolling Stone, but my boyfriend sure the hell won't be. Okay, okay, okay. And let me, let me say this to you and, 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 you know, at some point, if we are just, you know, when we go into it, we think it's a relationship or it's going towards a relationship. If we're looking for a hookup, we're not looking for a hookup with that. Okay, we're going to go, <laughs> right. right, right, we're going right. to, right, I might be your dream hookup, but you might not be my dream hookup. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and every girl out there knows what I'm saying. And so do most of the guys. Okay, yeah. so what I'm going to say right now is your loved one on the other side, all she wants to say to you is keep it pushing. If you get past this and it's for 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 everybody i'm just saying male female if you let go of that one that's just kind of hanging on to that one little string of your your shirt and won't let go if you can cut that string and you can move yourself on you are going to be in energy of all new coming in you're going into a new career Make sure you're also going into new energy with relationships. Don't bring anything from the past, okay? Um, I'm I'm okay. seeing this person on the other side. She shows me a broom, and she's saying, "Just just sweep it outside and let the wind take that 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 uh up away. Just sweep it outside and let the wind swoosh it away for you. And you you won't even have don't even entertain this with a little back and forth funny flirting because it'll turn into something else. And when you do communicate, um, even responding to the text, you're giving energy and it's building that that energetic thing stronger. So just um let it go. Um, and and move on to to okay. something much better. And no, she wants to tell you there's a gentleman coming in. <laughs> okay, so I guess you are getting your general reading. By the way, <laughs> there's a gentleman coming in. <laughs> there's a gentleman coming in, and this person coming in is coming in in December. And I see the 12th on the calendar. Now, it could be the second. It could be, you know, a different day. I see the 12th being a really significant day for this. You might meet him before this, but this gentleman's coming in in December. He's professional. He has his poop in a group. He's good to go. He knows what he wants and he's going to want you and he's going to want only you. He's done playing games. He's ready for that next level relationship. Now, I am going to say this. Now, just because you know this, don't skip steps. Take your time. Right. Men love their dream car because they had to work really hard for it. They beat up their hoopties, right? They beat up those roundaway girls. God, I haven't heard that statement in forever. <laughs> I have not heard that. How, what is that like from the 90s? Uh, round the round the way. Anyway, they they will yeah. they will use and abuse the one that's not 
the one, the car that's not their dream car, the, the one they didn't have to invest in. But the person they have to invest in, and that, that doesn't mean financially, that means time, energy, actually working on uh, setting things up, that's the one that they will um, they will have the long term situation or relationship or marriage with. Now, don't get me wrong. Men know within a certain period of time if you're the one or not. And they might not know the first okay. first week, first month. They, they but but there is a time when they know and when they figured out where you are in their life, if you're the, you know, the girl until the woman, if they figured out you're the actual woman, you're going to know because they're going to talk about, they're going to serious. I'm not talking about love bombing. They're going to seriously talk about what they want in a relationship with you. You won't have to bring that stuff up. You won't have to ask, are you serious about me? Do we have a future? Where is this going? Because they're going to be uh, bringing that up in conversations and talking about it with you. The content of their conversation is going to be more about you and less about what goes on in the bedroom area. The content of their conversation is going to be more about, you know, I have this coming up. Would you be interested in joining me? Then, hey, do you want to come in and get a nightcap? Okay, so that is one way we can tell okay. the difference between the guy who's serious about us and the guy who's seriously wanting to get get into our one the, the guy who just wants to jimmy our jam. Okay, that's that's one way. There are a lot of other ways we can tell, but that is one serious way. Okay, sweetie, um, this guy is coming in in December now. Okay. Just now, the higher you hold yourself the more respect he's going to have for you. So keep yourself, uh, keep, keep, keep yourself as high as you can be in every moment. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, sweetie. Thank you so much for calling in. I so hope this was helpful for you. And um, and uh, please keep us all posted because we're going to want to know what happens with this, okay? Definitely. <laughs> yes. Well, go back and listen. Absol Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. 929, you're going to be the next caller, but I need to come back here to Lolly. Um, my two girls are estranged after a disagreement over a trip last summer. Do you see them repairing the rift anytime soon? Yes, I feel right around the holidays, they're going to start to repair the rift. Don't push it, don't take sides. I know you wouldn't, but I'm just saying. Um, I do feel like something's gonna come in at the holidays that's going to help them kind of repair some of it. And from there it will be a slow build, okay? Allow them to work it out in their own way. And I know it will uh, slowly come back together. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here and joining me and um, and being part of this journey. It's such an honor to, to have each and every one of you and answer your questions. And if you did not get through today, watch for the pop-up show or call in at Monday at noon and I will try to get to you. Um, but until the very next show, please enjoy your life. Just do what you need to do to have some joy and happiness in your life.